Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Chrono Trigger. As you can see, I took the liberty of leveling up just one more time, so other than the increased experience and money, I don't have anything crazy to show you. Except for the thing we've been building up to. We're going to Lean Square. Man, this takes me back. Alright, let's take a look at what we have to work with. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, okay. Press the confirmation button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully, and then press the A button. Aw, shucks. Hey! Way to go! I'll put one silver point on your card. Aw, oh, sweet! I don't know if I necessarily have a way to check that, but if I want to grind silver points, then I guess I can do that, even though... That's very slow. Otherwise... Actually, what do you have to say? Those runners are busy racing, so they won't answer you if you talk to them. Yo, look at that flag! That looks great! Anyway... Shop. Potion, Panacea, removes status ailments. Athenian Water, revives a KO'd ally. Th that is rather pricey, even though I went and fought a bunch of stuff and have enough money. That's kind of pricey for this early in the game. And Shelter, 150. That's all they got. Yeah. I'll back off for now. Bronze Helm. Padded Vest. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Bronze Helm is 200 bucks. Padded Vest. 300. Does it describe these things for me? A cast bronze helm, there you go. And high tunic turns to padded vest, a durable training vest. Cool. Melchior the swordsmith at your service. Might I interest you in one of my fine blades? Okay. I am not buying the Silver Sword, even though that would be amazing. I suppose I could grind for that, but with the early game enemies, it's really not worth it. But the Bronze Blade, I can I can get that. And we got nothing else. I'll take it. A sturdy hardwood blade, a single-edged bronze sword. That Silver Sword though, right at the beginning of the game, I could get a Silver Sword. Because Bronze Blood is attack 7, Silver Sword is a ludicrous 20. I know I could somewhat make up for my loss by selling stuff. I wonder what it even sells for. I got a few potions, but they sell for nothing. Shelter's not bad, but that's precious. Wooden Sword, eh, 25, 40, eh. I'm not getting 4,000 credits. I live on the continent of the east. Come and see me if you ever have the need. Okay, you know, fair enough. And the winner of the last race was Steel Runner. Try and guess the next winner. Hmm. Uh, can I do it now? I'll say not this time for a second. Yeah, they they all go off. I'll I'll wait till they come back. Although, man, that adorable cat is not. Well, no, he's coming ahead of the night. Wait, is that was that a racer? Damn, the aliens blazingly fast. Good job, Cyberman, or whatever you are. These other guys are gonna take an hour to get back. You know what? I'm gonna talk to the old man. I got a feeling that Steel Runner just might pull it off today. Okay. Green Ambler won last time, but this time I'm going with Steel Runner. There they go. Looks like I lost. The old man usually has a decent sense of things, so I gambled and lost. Oh well.
We'll see, the Green Ambler might have this one. Alright, finally! Hooray, I win! I feel bad for Cadillac, look at that. Alright, so I won. You were right on the money! I'll put 20 points on your card. Can I check my card? Do I have, like, a thing where I can do that? How do I know how many points I have on my silver card? I don't know, I'll have to look into this, I guess. But now I have 21 points. Otherwise... Oh, look at this spooky tent. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do for safety? Because this is where I start betting points. I'll save before doing any of that. Let's play this completely safe. How do I see how much I have in my car? I mean, if I have to spend points, maybe I could check with the tent proprietor? Come one, come all to the Tent of Horrors. Spend your silver points here. Put your bravery to the test. Let me check how many points you have. 21. Well, you can only spend them in here, you know? Alright, well, that's how I get it, so that's easy. Oh, I remember this guy. Hefka, welcome to Norstein Beckler's Tent of Horrors. The spine-tingling show is just about to start. How many silver points would you like to spend? 10, 40, or 80? Well, I only have 21, so let's spend 10. Oh, friggin' yikes. I'm Biggs. Yeah, we're doing this Final Fantasy, Biggs and Wedge. I'm Wedge. I'm Piet, so there's the different one. This is gonna be hard. I've already lost it because they all look the damn same. Which one is Piet? I don't freaking know. I'm Biggs. Well, oh no. Well, I screwed that up. Is there a way to load the game? Oh, wait a minute. Isn't there a... Th there's a quick reset function, isn't there? And I forgot what it is. What is it like? LR select start? Yes. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm betting 10 points, baby. Biggs, Wedge, Piet. Okay. I think I actually have this. Biggs is on the right. Yes. Oh, you got me! It's a Puyozo doll! It'll spruce up your room! Sweet! I got a Puyozo doll. Do I have this, or would I actually have to check my room? Maybe it's just at my house. Alright, well, I got that. I got myself a, a pretty doll that's, you know, good for me. Otherwise... I'm gonna have to grind for points. I only have 11 points now. Look at how efficient I'm being with my points. I could do those up to 80 if I really wanted to. Anyway, who made it here first, do you think? I didn't even notice. Ah, nuts. I'll just say still run around on freaking out. I didn't even check with the old man. Alright, let me check with the person outside the tent, see what I got. 71! Alright, this is good. It won't be as much of a nightmare to get all the points that I had 
wanted to. So let's go in the spooky tent. Look who it is. I still gotta sit through this though. All right, what spine tingling show do I need to start? I would like to spend 40 points. Mimic what you see, L, R, Y, and A. Uh, nuts, left arm, right arm, laugh, surprise. Ugh. Start when you hear the signal. And action. It's so eerily quiet. This is kind of stressing me out, not gonna lie. Like, I just want to finish this game. Ah, oh, whoop, see? See? That's all it takes. I'm gonna reload, because that sucks. Oh wait, I don't need to do this. I can just do this. It's so annoying that it goes on for that long. It's not that hard, but I was getting twitchy. Alright, I do like that the creepy glowy eyes behind the door are clone chrono. It's eerie. My problem is my pointer fingers are on L and R. Those are ready to go. The problem is my thumb is over the A button. So, yep, yeah, there. I have to move it over to do the laughter, which is frustrating. I'm not ready for that. All right, excellent. I'll send this doppel doll, it's not creepy at all, to Chrono's house. Okay, good for me. I'm gonna save again immediately because that actually took me a few tries because I choked a couple times. Oh, I, whatever, I'll just save twice, whatever. All right, now the last thing I'm going to want to do is get myself 80 points. 20 points. So what do I have right now? 85. Let's save. All right. And back into the fair we go. This is Lean Square. Legend has it that people who hear Lean's bell live happily ever after. Well, that's how it opened the game, you know? I hear Luca and her father have put together another crazy invention. I just hope it doesn't blow up again like the last one. Oh. Now, I'm gonna come back to the tent because I actually can't do that particular game yet. I just have the points for it. There was a big war hundreds of years ago against the Fiend Lord's armies. My mom said if we'd lost, we wouldn't be having a fair like this today. Oh hey, those of you who know Chrono Trigger might know who this is. Oof. Ouch. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant. Now this is where I could actually influence the game. If I pick up the pendant first, that'll be different from if I talk to her and then get the pendant. I'll talk to her. Oh no, my pendant! Don't tell me I lost it! I'll pick it up. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant! I know it doesn't look like much, but it has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Yes, of course. Thank you. 
You must live in this town. I came to see the fair. Awfully boring wandering on alone, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we walk around together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? Sure. Yahoo! This'll be fun! Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's... Uh... Um... <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's Marl. I think for a while there was debate on how to pronounce her name, but I looked up somewhere that the Japanese characters say, like, Maru, so it implies Marl rather than, like, Marley or something like that. It's Marl, and you're... Chrono. What a nice name. Appropriate for a game of this title. Well, pleased to meet you, Chrono. Come on, let's enjoy the fair. Alright, am I allowed to leave? I hope I am. Thank God. Okay. Because I'm about to spend 80 points. I don't want to screw this up. Hey, look, she's actually in my party. Level 1. Surprise. Actually, what's the uh, equipment? And I doubt she has any techs, but we'll find out. Bronze bow gun, a bronze work bow gun. Hide cap, hide tunic, ribbon, a charming hair ribbon, which increases her accuracy. I forgot to mention, by the way, the game's initial description says that, you know, oh, swords upgrade with strength and bows and guns might be accuracy. But how do we know about guns? Like, they're in the game for sure, but isn't this the era of bows? Also, notice the big water symbol next to her. And Chrono has... I think that's supposed to be lightning. Anyway, let's go back to the fair. This is going to be a little rough. But I'm going to try it. I would like to spend 80. Monsters will close in from above. Throw beanbags at them and push them all the way back into the cage. Ah! A hostage you provide will be slowly lowered into the flames. It's a little too intense for me. You can buy time by hitting the blue light to raise the rope, but let your friend get charbroiled and the game's over! Defeat all the monsters before the hostage's goose is cooked. Oh, I lose. Ah! Oh no. Well, clearly I'm resetting that. Alright, here we go. This is going better. <laughs> Yay! Well done, take this cat! Yay! I got a cat. I'm definitely saving because that was my third try. Imagine having to grind all those points. No thank you. Now at this point I think I should have five silver points, just to check. Five. You know what? Give me a second. Because I want ten. Hooray! That's ten points. Now... Back up. Have you heard the gossip? No. Just between us, I heard the king is tearing his hair out over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once, I'd like to meet her and see how wild she really is. Yeah, but that's not what I'm looking for. Is it you? Let me see how many silver points you have in your card. Looks like you got ten. Would you like to exchange ten for... Oh, for 50G. Uh... I'll give it a shot. There. 
get, get a little bit of money. Not the best way to rack it up, but whatever. Otherwise... My dear old wife made that lunch for me. Always the highlight of my day. Gives me that extra oomph when I'm starting to feel worn down. Yeah, I guess that's his lunch and I can eat it, but that'll, you know, be terrible. So I'm not going to do that. What I will do is... If this guy will get out of my way... Ugh. There we go. The cat meowed and now it's following me. Adorable. However, check this out. I can't go past the damn cat. Oh my god, I'm trapped. This is the worst thing ever. Okay, here we go. Old man, sir? Okay, here we go. Now... Does that cat follow me or what? Did I Oh. Pathfinding. Here we go. There we go. You brought back my kitty! Thank you! Chrono, you're so sweet! Hooray! So that was just nice to do. Also this guy. Drinking contest! Step right up! Mash the A button as fast as you can! Oh boy, this will be weird on a DS, but... Ready, set, go! A second, I'm positioning my hand here. I'm gonna use my pointer finger. Yeah, oh, oh okay. He said I'll put five silver points on your card. And she said, You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? I mashed all the way through that, but hooray, I got it. Oh my god, this music. I forgot about this. I know where else we get this music. This is amazing. Give me a second now. Oh, prehistoric rhythm. I could just tell. This music's way too good. Yeah, wasn't there a way I could do something here? Yeah, I think there was something. Yeah, I, I can sort of dance. Whoa! Oh, that's so good. Amazing. Just various dance moves. That's kind of fantastic. Otherwise... Ah, oh, feels bad to lose that theme, but... We'll get it later in the game. I forgot how good that was. Anyway, something else I want to do is bring another uh, classic memory of this game. Yeah, this guy. They call me Gato. I have metal joints. If you can beat me up, you'll earn 15 points. You can hear a tune, but I don't know, man. All right. Do I fight him? Okay, there we go. She has a tech? No, she doesn't. This goofy-ass boxing glove. That actually hurt, though. I think we could take him, though. He could stop swinging. I think we should be able to take this guy. He might be down already. Yeah, 10 XP. 1 TP, whatever. But I also got 15 points, so if I can handle getting my ass kicked, then... Oh. Oh no, I have lost, and it seems you've won. Here are your 15 points? Now wasn't that fun? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, no, we, we lost our HP for that. Damn. Like, I don't think you could game over on this guy, but ouch. Okay, so 15 silver points if you're... Whoops. If you're willing to put in the, uh, the pain for it. Anyway, let's go back. I think at this point I've experienced every game at the fair. Let's hit up Melchior. Melchior the swordsmith at your service, blah blah blah. Take a look. Okay, I don't think there's anything I could buy for her. And, uh... 
Mm -hmm. By the way, is there any chance you could talk that young lady into selling her pendant to me? Uh, no. Crazy invention, doesn't blow up. They ought to be ready by now. They were setting up at the far end of the square. Oh, I want to see it! Come on, Chrono! Okay. Oh, just a minute. I want to get some candy. Yeah, I think I actually can move and leave her behind, and I do not want to do that, so I'm gonna wait. Hopefully... Okay, good. Excuse me, I'd like one of these. I had to just wait. Sure, young miss. Thanks for waiting! You yeah, see? I got props for waiting! Anyway... Step right on up with any with the time and courage. Our first ever hyperdimensional transporter is the invention of the century. Simply hop up here. And you'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Luca. <laughs> Hooray. Oh, I guess I do it. Can I talk to him? Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono! Do I just... Do I, do I step up by Luca, then? Chrono! I was wondering when you'd show up. No one wants to try my telepod. Would you be so kind? Oh, this'll be fun! I'll watch while you try it out. Just hop up onto the luck pod. Oh, boy. System activated! Initiating energy transfer. Wow! Ooh, amazing! I actually forgot that it worked. I was waiting for the classic, you know, the fly where something goes horribly wrong. It just straight up worked. And I can get off the, the pod. Amazing. It, it worked! Unbelievable! They never... Uh, ahem. As I was saying, Luca has done it again, ladies and gentlemen. A thrilling display of science at its best. So how was it? Wanna try it again? Oh god, I, I probably shouldn't overwork this thing, but I'm doing it. System activated. Energy transfer. That is pretty cool. That looks like fun! I want to try it too! Huh? Chrono, when did you manage to pick up a cutie like her? It's alright, isn't it, Chrono? Just wait right here. Don't run off on me! Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine! Hehe, <laughs> okay, I'll be right back! You're sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way, I'm not afraid. Oh, the music stops for this one. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she teleports from the platform. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. The ominous music. You can see her pendants reacting to it, though. What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Luca? She's not reappearing. W well, alright. As you can see, uh, the girl has vanished before your very eyes. Show's over, folks. Move along. Oh, thank God. That crowd's easy to please. What just happened, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared. That couldn't have been the telepod. The way that rift appeared and the way her pendant seemed to be reacting to it. Something else must have caused it all. 
Yeah, and a shocking twist, this actually is working as intended. That was just a terrible coincidence. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Is there any way we can help her? That girl's face was so familiar, I know I've seen her somewhere. And I'm just playing. I will definitely pick up the pendant. Chrono! Oh, you're going after her? What a fine lad. So good that this incredible theme has kicked in. It's the only way. I don't know where that hole leads, but we've got no other choice. Let's just hope it opens up again. <laughs> well, it's worth a shot. The pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono. And brace yourself. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Boost the power output. Roger. More. I need more power. Roger. There. I think we did it. That really is how it works, huh? Good luck, Chrono. I'll follow you as soon as I figure out what went wrong. You got a pendant like this, Loka? <laughs> oh, man. Look at those sweet Super Nintendo Mode 7 graphics. Uh-oh. You can see on the lower screen there's a map implying I probably cannot save. I... Can't even open the menu. Never mind, there's a scene. Oh, no. Blue Imp. Well, they're easy enough to deal with. Six. That's not terrible damage, because there's three of them, but... You should be able to handle them at this point in the game. Not that they expected you to level up necessarily, but this should not be enough to outright kill you. Take that, Garlic Jr. Hooray! So... We are not saving, and as you can see on the top screen, my location is question mark. Freaking yikes. Let's try to figure this out. Something just ran away from me. These seamless fights are so cool. Anyway. Mash the attack button to get in there before they can land an attack on me. Yeah, this wasn't even a fight. Four XP. Weak. Anyway. I should use the deep head for more precision. But anyway, we got a potion. Oh. Power glove? It's so good. Now, speed really is important in a game like this, but strength plus two at this early stage? A glove that strengthens the wearer. It's like Zelda, the power glove. All right. Adorable. Hey guys, have you seen... Oh no! The ball is an enemy, I love that. What is it called? Oh, I should use a tech now. Round Dillo? Anyway, see you guys. Okay. And this map actually looks pretty good on the lower screen. So, alright, let's get out of here. This is where I came from. The Millennial Fair is not here, but this is the same world map, except it's a little darker. We'll get implications on this later. See, there's still the truce in. Is that amazing? So I'm going to get myself a little bit of context before ending the installment here. Residence. Simpler looking home than what I was used to. A Millennial Fair? Here? 
Have you been in your cups? Our kingdom is only 600 years old! King Guardia the 21st still reigns last as I checked! And now we know, by the way, why it's called Guardia Forest. But I went back in time 400 years. I scarce remember the days before the war against the Fiend Lord began. The months turn into years. When will this all end? Or all this end? So, we had a little bit of dialogue about the Fiend Lord's War before. Oh, thank god we won, or it would have sucked. Well, I guess we're in the war with the Fiend Lord now. This is bad. Market. Residence. I'm just gonna do residences right now. I'm Banta, the village blacksmith. I'm forging this bell at the king's behest as a symbol of his love for Queen Lean. So the bell hasn't been made yet. And Lean is the queen. Lean Square was named after her later, 400 years later. The Queen's Vanishing Act had me wondering if all this work would be for naught. After all, what's the bell without the queen, eh? But it seems they found her in the canyon up north. She's back at the castle now, and I'm back to work. My husband wants a daughter both clever and fair. Uh, alright, bye. I'll check the market- oh, whoops, that's, that's just the residence, sorry. I'll check the market real quick, in case there's anything interesting. Oh, it's just a quick room anyway. So, you've a mind to buy some weapons and join the fight against the Fiend Lord's army, have you? Wonderful! But remember to equip the weapons you buy. Not much meaning elsewise. You didn't come all this way just to look, did you? Surely there's something you'd like to buy. What do you have, buddy? Standard items. Pea Shooter! Oh no, it's just a little outside my reach. Of course I can't use it, but someone else could. Bronze Helm, I have that already. Padded Vest, I have that already. So, if I wanted to catch up to Chrono specifically, this was my chance. No Silver Blade, though. Imagine if I had grinded enough money for the Silver Blade. I'd be so ahead of my time here. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna wrap things up at the inn. Well, no, I'll, I'll do just enough flavor here. Where are you, you say? You some sort of simpleton? Even a half-witch should know this is land for Guardia. Our kingdom wages war with the Fiend Lord's army day and night, fighting to restore the realm's peace. Pray tell you knew that much, at least. I did. Then might you show the good grace to stop wandering about, pestering folk with moronic questions? Do you think- what does he say if the other go the other way? Truly? You're a wayfarer, then. I suppose you might not know if that's the case. Fair? Have you gone mad? This is no time for mirth and mummery! <laughs> that old school speaking! Oh, praise be! They found Queen Lean wandering up in the canyon! She'd been missing for so long, I feared the worst! She must be back at the castle by now, getting some much-needed rest. I think our hearts are all a little more at ease now. When Queen Lean disappeared, it was all the king could think of. He thought of the Fiend Lord's doing and dispatch soldiers of the four corners of the realm to find her, but she's been found and that's all that matters. The Fiend Lord's army laid waste to Zenon Bridge. We've lost her only road to the southern continent. Oh, remember that in the present? I did cross that to get to the southern continent. I just walked across it casually. I guess I can't do that now. Can I not talk to the bartender? Sir? Oh my god. No, this is not happening. 10G for the night. I like that the chest is here. That's actually very important to know for this game. The fact that the chest is here in the past, too. That's going to be legitimately important from a gameplay mechanic perspective. Hmm, I thought there was someone else. Oh, maybe, maybe I missed this guy? Yeah, Toma. You an outsider too? The name's Toma. I'm an explorer, and if you could spare 10G to buy this round, I'd be a storyteller too. Sure. Another mug! Cheers, friend! Well, then a promise is a promise. It's about the missing queen. My travels have taken me to the cathedral in the western wood, and there's something most peculiar about that place. It's only a hunch, but... Beg your pardon? They found Queen Lean in the canyon? Huh. It seems my suspicions were misplaced. Interesting. And that's the last thing I'll do, is I'll check out the cathedral. I think I can get there. Oh good, okay. Manolia Cathedral! 
Yeah, I'll talk to a few NPCs here and just hear what they have to say. We pray for the peace of our world. We are ever so devout. Tee <laughs> That is a bit off-putting. Like, you don't have to put on a show of it. Oh, great lord and master, deliver your judgment upon the weak and undeserving. Yeah, I'm a little suspicious. That we might reclaim the future for ourselves in your name. Oh, how delicious. I mean, delightful looking you are. This is shady as hell. Why not say a prayer for yourselves? <laughs> this is a little weird. It's a little weird. Can I do a thing here? Maybe not. I'm gonna back off for now, and I could show you really quickly. Ugh, I should do the D-pad for this. Here's the bridge, which I could still enter, but it's useless to cross now. The Fiend Lord's army laid waste to this bridge. We are working to repair it, but until Sir Cyrus returns, we must see to the kingdom's defense as well. Yeah, there is just nothing I could do here. So, where I will wrap things up is... As you can see, I could still go to Guardia Forest, and there's that building behind it. Oh, and now look at when I stop moving my timeline, or my screen says 600 AD. Here we are. So, I am going to save... We already lost Marl. Didn't take long, did it? And now it's his Middle Ages. Wow. Well, this is where I'm going to wrap up, so for now it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We had fun at the fair. It was great. We did all the games. We saw everything there was to see. I even did the 80-point challenge. Pretty tricky. But then the real game started. Marl got caught in some sort of temporal rift, and we did too. We got sent back to the year 600 AD. Uh, do you think Marl's here? Do you think the rift sent us to the same place? I mean, I would hope so. We used the same pendant, but who's to tell? Until next time, everyone.